up, Glitter Gang? It's your Glitter Gal here, and today I am here with a Bodyline shoe review. Now, I know that Bodyline has had a lot of problems and controversies in the past, and that's kind of an understatement, but recently they changed management and they've been working really hard to make some changes for the better, so while I probably wouldn't necessarily recommend Bodyline for your entire wardrobe as you can definitely find affordable Lolita in other places. I think that it's definitely a good place to buy some beginner pieces, especially um, shoes, blouses, filler bits. I mean, this dress is actually from Bodyline, and it's really pretty. I've had people mistake it for brand before. So I'm going to put some links in the description to videos that will give you better information on Bodyline and how to kind of figure out what's okay to get and what you should avoid. Um, that's not quite what this video is about, though. So. Um, Moving on to the main topic, shoes. I actually really love Bodyline's shoes. I think you can get really good deals on them, especially if you buy them on sale, which is what I did. And they're actually really sturdy. Okay, so the shoes I'm gonna show you first, Bodyline has like a system for categorizing their stuff. And for some reason, it's different for that one compared to everything else. It's like ACSH-0074Y, and usually, it it's not categorized like that, so I don't know what's up with that, but here they are, the first pair. They are super, super cute, oops. <laughs> they are tea party style shoes, and I, I really like these. Um, I actually had them before, and one of the reasons I am so impressed by Bodyline's uh, shoe quality is that I had these exact shoes before, and they lasted me several years of pretty regular wear until the bottom straight up cracked and fell off after several years of wear. And the front, I will say, Bodyline's shoes can get scuffed kind of easily. These got really scuffed because, um, I don't know, because I walk weird, I'm, my left leg twists inward. I'm pigeon-toed but only on one side, so there's a fun fact about me. Um, but I liked them enough to rebuy them, so that should speak positively. It looks like they might have changed the um, color of them slightly. These are a little bit brighter, but I actually kind of like that. I like the um, the slightly brighter color of these. These are a size large, um, which I know it's weird to have shoes in like small, medium, large, but they have centimeter measurements on the website, so don't worry about that. Um, so they're really sturdy quality. They do They will scuff easily, but I had mine other ones last a pretty long time. Um, what's really nice, in my opinion, about Bodyline shoes is that um, the buckles are snaps, so you don't actually have to undo and redo them every time you put them on. I really like the uh, little bow details on the back and on the front. I think these are really good, cute shoes, especially for Sweet Lolita, and yeah, I like these a lot. Right. So the second pair of shoes... Ah! The second pair of shoes I'm going to show you is under Bodyline's website as Shoes283. Here they are. I think I, okay, I adore these. I love that they're kind of like sandals. I feel like these would be really good for when it gets warmer. I love the white scalloped edge. I got these in pink X off-white because I, most of what I own is pink or white, let's be honest. Um, I re, I just, I adore the scalloped edge so much. Um, and I, I, again, I love the little bow detailing. I just, oh my gosh. I, I didn't think I would like the open sides because I thought it'd be really weird. And okay, you can't wear these with like thick socks for obvious reasons, but they're more warm weather, weather shoes anyway. I think they are just so cute, so charming. They look like little cakes. And I just, oh my gosh, I adore these. Um, they don't have the spotted insoles of the other shoes, but that's fine. I still think they're super cute without them. Um, one thing I did notice about these shoes that's different about the other ones, and this was true on the old ones as well, is that they used this, um, instead of using the same material as the rest of the shoe, they used this um, ribbon to do the ruffles in the front. And I feel like that would get dirty more easily, but the ones in my old shoes seem to hold up pretty well, so they're also definitely different colors now that I'm looking closer at them. See, the inside is more of a purple-toned color, and the shoes themselves are a slightly more cool-toned pink, and the ribbon doesn't match quite as well, which doesn't personally bother me, but I mean, in case you're interested in seeing how really, really old versions of these shoes look compared to the new ones, the only reason I haven't thrown them out is because I feel like I'm trying to figure out if I could possibly find a use. I might save the straps as replacement straps, I don't know. I, I don't like trashing anything I can reuse. Um, 
even if it is completely destroyed like those shoes are. So, yeah, um, again, big upside, the shoes are really sturdy, big downside, they scuff really easily. Um, I really, I think that they're really cute though. They're actually pretty comfortable in my opinion. All of the Bodyline shoes I've had, let me set those down. All of the Bodyline shoes I've had have been really comfortable and, I mean, as comfortable as, you know, heels can be, and I've had no issue walking in them. Oh, and also, one moment. When I got these shoes, they were also shipped with these black insoles that you can um, cut to size, which Bodyline didn't used to do. I guess people were complaining about how um, solid the insides of the feet were, because they are pretty solid. They're oh, actually, these were a little bit cushiony, but... Um... Oh. Oh, that's so crazy. They're actually a little bit soft now. They didn't used to be a little bit soft. They are a little bit soft there, so I'm not personally... Oh, cool. That was so cool. I have my curtains open for lighting, and uh, directly outside my window is the walkway for my dorm, and someone just looked in and saw me filming. That was so awesome, guys. Anyway, the insoles are actually a little bit soft now, which is new for Bodyline, but in case that is not enough for you, they do ship them with these free adjustable insoles now. I don't think I'm going to use mine, but I'm holding on to them just in case, or in case I come across a really uncomfortable pair of shoes. I personally ordered mine with the free shipping Bodyline has, which looks a little shady, I won't lie. <laughs> but um, the free shipping, it doesn't have tracking and it takes a lot longer. I'm trying to think when I ordered mine. I want to say it took about a month or two. So if you're willing to wait, the free shipping is a really good deal and I got my shoes just fine. They were in perfectly fine condition. So yeah, um, and if, if you're ever wondering like what it'll look like in person, because stock photos are not always the best. Bodyline stock photos are notoriously not the best. There is a Tumblr blog called bodylineneedsbetterpictures.tumblr.com and if you check out that blog, they've got, um, they will reblog uh, people's photos wearing different Bodyline products and if you uh, type in tagged and then put in whatever the item code for whatever you're looking for, whether it's a blouse, a dress, shoes, etc., you can find pictures of people actually wearing the item to give you a better idea of what it would look like on you. Um, so that's about it. Uh, conclusions. Pretty solid shoes. Have not worn them out much yet because I've been in class and these are not these are not what I would call walking to class type of shoes. Just, you know, generally speaking. However, hopefully it'll warm up and it will it'll be less disgusting and rainy and then I can wear them. Um, I really like them. I think they're great quality. I think they are super, super cute. I still can't get over how much these look like cute little cakes. The scalloped edge is driving me crazy. Um, and that's about it. If you have any other questions about ordering from Bodyline or where to find affordable Lolita or anything else like that, leave them down in the comments below. You guys left some super sweet comments on my last couple of videos and I just want you guys to know that every time you comment on one of my posts, it like makes my entire week. It makes me so happy. So feel free to leave those in the comments and I will do my best to answer. And I'm, again, I'm going to leave some resources in the description for more information on Bodyline and stuff like that. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And if you could like this video and subscribe and turn on notifications, it would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Toodles! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to drop a quick shout out to my number one Patreon supporter, Nick. Thank you so much, Nick, for your continued support. If you guys would like to see more fashion related videos like this, either tutorials or reviews or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. Bye!